It is a spectacular day in Ohio's capital city, an unseasonably warm 66 degrees as we approach the kickoff of the biggest Big Ten game of the season between Iowa and Ohio State. The winner of this game will earn the first BCS Bowl bid to be handed out this season. It's the automatic bid that goes to the Big Ten champ. Iowa and Ohio State tied atop the conference with one loss apiece. Only one game remaining for each after today. There is the possibility of a two, three, or four-way tie, but the winner of this game would own all of the time range. Town of 11,000 and change on the Mississippi River, south of Iowa City. Prolific passer in high school as he led Kia Cup to a state title. Threw for nearly 8,000 yards in high school. But he was accustomed on a good Friday night to playing in front of 3,000 or so fans. He's playing in front of 100,000 plus today. With the conference championship and a Rose Bowl bid at stake, he stumbled on the handoff to Adam Robinson and Vandenberg. He has the Hawkeyes across midfield. And Adam Robinson stopped Ross Holman. Here's a hot tip. Always block everybody before you run the play. <laughs> Talking to Stanzi is the most important part. He's been there just like 20 seconds ago. He knows what to tell him. Vandenberg has single coverage, and the receiver is taken down. Chimney check walk, a tangled up with Darrell Johnson Culianos. And the Hawkeyes believe that's a flag going against the Buckeye secondary. Pass interference, number five, defense, 15 yard penalty. Dropped it. 32 yard field goal try by Daniel Murray. And it is good. Iowa, a 17 point underdog. First on the board today. Under a minute to go, first quarter. It's 3 0. That okay. Ohio State offensive line was because they gave him tons of time to throw. A nice arc inside to step and throw. And it's in the flat again, the same. First down. Good decision by Pryor. Amari Spivay tripped up, same. A methodical Ohio State drive, nine minutes to go. First half, they're down three to nothing, but on the move. 13 plays already on this drive. Here you go again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nice, happy protection right there. He's able to just step and throw very easily. This is exactly how Jim Tressel wants to win football games. Pound the football, low percent or high percentage throws, not take chances, control the ball away. But uh, but excellent job by by the Iowa defense stopping him here when they had to. There's Devin Barclay in his second game as the starting kicker. Their outstanding senior kicker Aaron Petrie injured a knee against New Mexico State a couple of weeks ago. Barclay trying a 30 yarder and it's right down the middle from the 26 year old former professional soccer player. Tied at three midway through the second quarter. Brandon Sane inside the five, down to the goal line, touchdown Ohio State. Game summary and the early story was Vandenberg who helped lead them to a three nothing advantage. Interception late as Kirk Ferentz said with Holly Rowe really did not hurt. Ohio State struggled in the first quarter, then found the rhythm, a nice balance of the pass and run, and the only touchdown of the half late in the first half. 354 remaining. Brandon Sane from 22 yards out. Despite the good play by Vandenberg, only 84 yards of offense for Iowa in that first half. Struggling to get a running game going. Brandon Wager, their freshman running back, sick. And he has not seen any action. So it's been Adam Robinson. They're seeing the same thing we're seeing. And here it is again. Vandenberg going deep and has a receiver open. Johnson Culianos to catch. Devon Torrance pulls him down and saves a touchdown inside the 10 yard line. They'll mark him down at the seven. First and goal, Iowa. 22 yard field goal try. And it is no good. Wide right from Daniel Murray. When we spoke with Kirk Ferentz during the week, he said our kicker's been inconsistent, and that's a big concern. You can't leave points on the field. State Barkley, who's been the starting kicker now for just two games. Pryor has a big gap, makes a great move, has a first down, and much more. Down to the 11-yard line. Tyler Sanders.
sash chopped him down, but it's 19 yards for Terrell Pryor to first down for the Buckeyes. Really done right there in the by Cordell and Boren, 65. They just throw him up the field and allows him to get down. Here's the first level. There's the second level. Oh, he just fakes out anger and picks up even more yards. One of the best tacklers in Iowa history there. Most guys would struggle against Pariah in space. It's Heron back in in the Wildcat. He turns the corner inside the five. Touchdown! As you hear the cheer coming and that was pure boom speed to the top side a healthy ankle and six quick four of those five o-line starters have at least 22 career starts and they paved the way for adam robinson he's out to the 49 yard line finally taken down by kurt coleman 24 yards big a shot this time manenberg throws and it is intercepted. Ross Homan. Inside the 30 and finally upended at the 24. He was trying to throw it over the top of Homan and he wasn't able to get there. Homan did a great job. Watch the depth he gets. Number 51 right here in the middle. Watch the depth he gets in his drop. And one last week at Penn State as well. High formation. And it's Sane. Breaking free. All the way. Touchdown with a great block from Zach Boren. Changed over the years. They're going to wear throwback uniforms in Ann Arbor next week against Michigan. Kevin Barkley's kick down to Darrell Johnson Culianos. He escapes. Makes another good move, and he's off to the races. He will score. Darrell Johnson Culianos touchdown, and Iowa is right back in it. a big play easy with another big play just a little bit of a juggle on the front end of it and Sean he got a, a, a lane to the outside and it was over 47 yarder who on this surface gets great footing with his plant foot and that's the foot right before the kick when it sets down big kick to make it a two score game he hooked it and it is no okay. good Thank you very much if you're from Iowa. One score game, flag down. Vandenberg <laughs> intercepted. And it's going to be run back by Thaddeus Gibson for a score. There is a flag down at the line of scrimmage on the near sideline. And it might be. Offsides, number 43, defense, five yard penalty. They're going to watch depth chart and coming back from a concussion today, seeing some action. Vandenberg flutters one, and it is caught on the ricochet by Moyaki. Well, Vandenberg's been good, but you have to be lucky sometimes, too, and he was there. Roll can't believe it. Chimney Chekwa knocked it up in the air and looked like it was going to be a pickoff for the stunned Buckeyes. 16-yard gain. This is not a good throw, ladies and gentlemen. He throws it into coverage. Watch this. Should have been a pick by Chekwa. Bounces up, and then Moyaki comes down. Great concentration, however. Just stays with the play and picks up the first. Time running down now. Here's Nannenberg, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and a great catch by McNutt over the defender, Chekwa, to snatch it. And they're an extra point away from a tie. What a great back throw, shoulder throw by Vandenberg. Watch this. McNutt, get to the top side, throw it back. 
McNutt goes over the top and plucks it. Boy, Jindy Chekwa, this is good coverage. You got to get your head turned around. Mr. Bobby. Relatively conservative approaches here at the end of regulation after the game, but it is characteristic of each. He's letting the clock go down. It's 10 seconds left on the play clock. And they're going to decide the Big Ten title and the BCS berth in overtime. They like their kicker better than they think Ohio State's kicker can do. That would surprise me a little bit. Each team receives one timeout per overtime period. We'll have two series on that end of the field once we decide. Call. Heads. Heads is called. Tails. Defense. Defense. And Ohio State chooses defense. What it, we'll play at that end of the field. Ohio State over here. Iowa here. In the back. Iowa has had a season on the edge. They've won four games by three points or less for the first time ever. Robinson's in trouble, and that's a huge loss. Spittler made the tackle back at the 31. From there, it's a 40 for Vandenberg. Out of the shotgun. Running out of time, and he is sacked. And they're not in field goal range. Worthington, the senior captain, in his final home game with the biggest play of his career. They need to get to the 15. Fourth down at 26. Vandenberg heading toward the end zone, and it is intercepted by Anderson Russell, who wisely takes it in. For a share of the Big Ten title and a chance to win it outright next week and a guaranteed spot in a BCS Bowl from 39 yards, Barkley up and good! Straight Big Ten title. They're almost certainly heading to the Rose Bowl for the first time since after the 1996 season. Here's Holly Rowe. Well, Coach Tressel told me at halftime this was.